So far in the other videos, we have examined the icon of the mystical dinner and the icon of the crucifixion. But now we are at the most important icon. This is the icon of the resurrection, known as the Anastasis in Greek. This icon has so many spiritual elements to it. I wanna walk you through it in great detail. So in the middle, you see Christ. In a Western icon of the resurrection, we usually see actually the ascension, Jesus' victory as he ascends into heaven. But the Orthodox paint something very different. They paint Jesus' resurrection as our resurrection. So notice that Jesus is in the center. He has come back from the dead. He is fully alive. The tomb is empty. And the, um, the bluish space around Jesus is called the mandorla. It's uh, the Latin word for uh, almond. And the idea is that symbolizes in icons the glory of God. So Jesus in his glory, he is the presence of God among us. Below his feet are the gates of hell. They've been knocked off their hinges and they are under his feet in the form of a cross. To his right hand, we have some of his uh, earthly human relatives. Uh, we have John the baptizer. We also have King David and King Solomon. On his left hand, however, we have the young man Abel, the first man to die a physical death at the hand of his brother through murder. And we have Moses and Isaiah. But the most important figures in this um, are the two figures in the graves, in the white and in the red. Normally in my class, when I uh, explain this to students, I ask them who they think these people are. And usually there's a lot of different guesses, but very rarely do the students guess properly. These, this is Adam and Eve. The first two in the grave, first two out. What's really, really amazing as you look down further, if you can see that darkened figure under the gates, there is a bound figure. That bound figure is death. Death has been bound and those little white things around them are the fetters, chains, and handcuffs that have, have captured and imprisoned the souls in hell. Jesus' harrowing of hell is, is part of this resurrection icon. So I commend these three icons to you as part of your Easter celebration as we walk through Good Friday and as we walk towards Easter morning and the empty tomb. I hope that these visual icons, these visual commentaries, have enhanced your spiritual discipline during Holy Week. Thank you very much. God bless you. God bless your families. And be safe.